guys, welcome back to another video. Although this one's gonna be a little bit different because we are completely live. Now on this episode, we're picking up an abandoned 1972 Ford station wagon. Now we don't know a whole lot of information on this car other than it was parked back in 98 and supposedly running at that point in time. Now this is a really cool vehicle and we're super excited to get started on it. The only problem is this is completely raw and unedited and you never really know what problems are gonna arise. So without further ado, let's get started. I guess we'll go ahead and start just getting some of this mess out of the way okay. first. See what we're even working with here. It looks like maybe plastic tarp that wore itself to, to death. Yeah, I think he probably had this over covering the motor at some point, but the sun's done got the best of it right. for sure. Definitely want to get it all up before we try to get it to crank and make sure none of this stuff melts to the block. Yeah, just suck right down into that carburetor. Oh, that too, yeah. Hopefully she's not locked up, but we'll see what she does. Huh? Turning. Yeah. It's good. So far, so good. See what the oil looks like in it. It's like someone's put a new distributor in it at some point. Yeah. Dark, huh? Yeah, but not too bad. Full? Is it on the full mark? I didn't check. I would just... Looks it. A little above. Yeah. Doesn't smell gassy or anything though. Yeah. I said new distributor and new wires. Off to a better start, and it's not locked up, yeah. so off to a better start than our normals. Yeah, hopefully that's a good thing and not a, right. a backwards thing for us. So guys, welcome to our live stream here tonight. Uh, I think this one's going to be a fun one. So this is a pretty cool car. It's a 1972 Ford uh, Country Sedan, Galaxy 500 Country Sedan. Um, what I like about this car is station wagons are really becoming cool. You don't see a whole lot of them anyways. And this one was really easy for us to find uh, in the fact that it actually found us. So uh, we had a gentleman here that was uh, come to the shop to hook up our new internet. Uh, so hopefully that's going to allow our live streams to go a little better without the, the struggles we've had before. Uh, and he was he seen the collection of cars we had out front and was in, or wondering if we were interested in buying something like this. So. Uh, we took off. It was pretty local. Uh, you guys seen us pick up the car there in the intro of the video. But other than that, uh, we pretty much put a hubcap up over the carburetor to keep water from getting into it until we could get it into the shop. And we got it into the shop here just yesterday, set up our cameras, and we're live here today. So uh, it's been a long time since we've done a live stream, uh, will it run style. The last one we actually did was on an 86 uh, Firebird. And we were around 70,000 subscribers then. So uh, we've grown just a little bit on our fan base from that point. So hopefully you guys enjoy this video. I'm going to quit talking and we're just going to dive right into it. I think Dad's just going to keep cleaning up this a little bit more. And I'm going to give you a walk around on the car just to check it out a little closer. So on the exterior, the body is pretty straight on this whole thing. Uh, as you can tell, we've got a dent here on the, on the quarter panel. Uh, that's probably one of the worser of the body damage on the car. Uh, we've got the gas cap uh, is inside the car there. Back here on the back door, it's got another little doohickey dent right there. Probably caused by somebody trying to push this car with it not running. Uh, the cool thing about these old tailgates on this is they actually will open two ways. So they'll open uh, sideways like a door, or they're actually fold down uh, like a tailgate on a truck would. So pretty cool design on that. Have no idea. Uh, got a custom handle there if that works. This side here, a lot straighter. This is going to be your sonic side. So we've got a cool roof rack up on here. This is very similar to the old 67 Mercury commuter wagon we once did a live, uh, a live stream on before. 
on the inside of the car here, we've got a lot of green. <laughs> so white with green interior would have been never been my choice, but the old seat here is ripped up and I don't know if you guys can tell, they took some, some silicone at some point in time and tried to repair that, but I think the floor pans are pretty solid. The dash doesn't look too bad in here. Old handicap uh, thing on the rear view mirror there. I have no idea if there's anything in the glove box or anything like that. I did notice in the back seat here, we have our fuel tank. So uh, we're not gonna be trying to put fuel in this car from the fuel tank for sure. And I'm not exactly sure what all this other stuff is. Got a couple spare tires, which we'll probably need for the back driver's or passenger side. And this one right here, well, that's an old trailer tire, wheel and tire. So anyways, it holds there. And that's the gist of it. Uh, the hood obviously is off, but we do have the hood up front here. It's got a little bit of damage on the on the grill just a little bit right there but pretty cool car uh, pretty straight and like i said before you just don't come across these old station wagons very often so when we come across them uh, if it's something that we feel is reasonable and we think we can do something with it we'll try to uh, we'll try to buy it and do exactly that so hopefully by the end of this video we'll be able to get this thing up and running we know it's not locked up so it'll turn over for us hopefully as long as the starter's good and uh We'll just keep moving on. Have you guys help us diagnose any problems we might run into? And who knows, maybe by the end of this, we'll be able to see a burnout. I don't know. <laughs> How's it going? Pretty good. That's some of this small stuff, and it's just, just brittle enough that once you grab it, it right. goes even smaller. Yeah. Either vacuum it or blow yep. it, either one. We can come yeah. back to it, too. Oh, right. here's our... Little gas tank, I'm assuming. Good grief, what a coal that <laughs> yeah. is. What yeah. in the world? Because he's got an HEI. Right. It wasn't hooked up to anything, like I said, it's just. Huh. So, I guess that's what they were using on the old ignition system, maybe? I guess so. Super that cool. Th that thing is huge. Got some bad wiring here, huh? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. But like I said, everything, spark plug wires and stuff, I don't know, hopefully they got the distributor back in, right. you know, yeah. the right spot. Yeah. We want to get these plugs pulled out so we can turn it over with a little lubricant down there. I think cylinders. so, because not knowing the last time it was turned over, it's probably best to go ahead and right. get that. I'm curious of what the plugs look like anyways. We've got some rigging on it here and there, that's for sure. Old power steering cooler is just kind of laying loose there. There's another extra spark plug wire. <laughs> and I was noticing this transmission cooler here too. That's got to be something someone's rigged on yeah. there for sure. While I'm thinking about it, I'm going to spray that just in case if our linkage is locked up and we'll have time to be soaking. Alrighty. Mexican Spec asks, do you know what size engine this is? Yeah, so I kind of I kind of skipped over that part right there. So this is actually a 400 engine in this thing. Uh, pretty common motor Ford would use a lot. Um, yeah, it's, it's a pretty big motor. It's I would take a big old motor for this car for sure. What's weird about it, and I'm guessing it's just the shocks, is when we when we first pulled up to look at it it kind of looked like it didn't even have an engine in it at all it sets really high in the front but you can tell i think just those shocks are just well <laughs> i think they're just shot in it because when we were pulling it home on the trailer it was a whole lot of bouncing and stuff going on there but it's got that uh large family stance where all the kids are in the back and it just kind of yeah squatty that's probably what wore out the shocks. it probably is they were probably jumping around back there. Did y'all ever have a station wagon? Not that I remember. 
But that didn't keep us from jumping around. We right. Lay in the floorboards up in the, the back window. Just wherever you could get, you got. Went ahead and sprayed the carburetor base bolts just in case we got to pull the carburetor off. I hope not, but. I hope not too. Depending on how old the fuel, last fuel that was in it is, it's probably pretty gummed up. And that one's pretty carboned up on that one. You got any of yours out? I got one of them out. It didn't look bad. It was not bad. Decent looking. Plugs ain't too old either, though. So we're just going to pull these spark plugs out of here, get a little lubricant down in the cylinders, because uh, we don't know how long it has been since this thing has turned over, and we don't want it turning over just dry in them cylinders there. So we're going to pull these out. won't take very long. We needed to check what the spark plugs look like anyways. Get something pumped down in there and try to turn her over by the starter, hopefully. So I hope everybody's been having a good, a good week. We're right here at Friday, so we've got a, we've got another video lined up uh, coming out soon. If you guys remember the old '65 Ford F100 uh, that we dug out of the ground and uh, it was completely locked up on the engine, and we call that truck Lazarus. Uh, we decided we were going to do a somewhat of a build on it, so that'll be our next episode where we're bringing the truck inside. We're going to uh, make it into a short bed truck. Uh, we've got a whole lot of cool plans on that, but that video will be coming up next after this. Sounds like a lot of work to me. <laughs> it should be fun though. Yeah, it won't be bad. I probably always say that though. I do, I just... Always, if I if I look for the worst in it, it always winds up being better. So yeah, grab a little oil and squirt it down in there. I, I learned a long time ago if you make the problem a lot worse than what it is, whenever you finally get it solved, it's like oh that was easy. No, oh, yeah. Something like that, anyway. <laughs> so, Christian, you want to tell them about we got our, our merch back in stock now? Uh, yeah, sure. So we have our original tie-dye restored t-shirts back. Um, I believe we had those in sizes small through 4X. Um, and they were just restocked today. So be sure you grab one of those before they run out. Uh, it has one of the B restored on the front. And then we also have the old Betsy t-shirts. Um, I don't know if y'all remember the old station wagon live we did not too long ago. But uh, it was drawn up by Micah Doodle, has some really fun colors and a really great cartoon look. And then we also have our Uncle Frankie t-shirt um, that has the old car we drug out of the woods and of course our Uncle Frankie as well. So um, yeah, those are three of our only but best shirts you can get. Uh, you can get those at www.be-restore.com and uh, yeah, I believe they're 25 bucks a piece, so grab one while you can. So yeah, I know we've had a lot of people asking about those original tees for a while, and uh, it finally worked out where we have some in stock. So if you were one of them people, I'm sorry it took so long, but they're back, and be sure you go place your order there. We've got new, new caps. Yeah, we got some new caps as well. So we've also got oil in these cylinders now, so. <laughs> I'm going to say that battery is going to be toast, so let's just go ahead and pull it off, put a new battery on there, and I don't know if it'll try with the ignition switch. We can try it, but 
We'll probably have to jump it. Let's see if I can find something to help me get it off with. Robert Vargas says, does the wagon have one of those rear facing seats hidden in the back seat? So I'm not really sure on that. Um, I know that on our commuter it had those fold up seats. So we'll get back there here in a little bit and try to pull them tires out and check it out for sure. It would be really cool if it had those seats and I know that makes them a lot more desirable. So we're, we'll try to make a little headway on this, see, see what it's gonna fight us with. And then we'll try to dig inside and see what we can't, can't find in there later. <laughs> Let's see here. May have to clean those up. They're pretty. <laughs> somebody, somebody hid their key. I don't know if it goes to this one or not, but really. I bet it does. That looks like a Ford key. Try it on that door real quick. Not the door. Might Didn't be work. the ignition. Right. Cleaning up these terminals just a little bit. May, you know, get corroded, which these ones aren't terrible, honestly. It's how they can get sometimes. Then we're just gonna try, I'm gonna try with the key because we did get a key with this car to see if it'll actually bump over with the key inside there. Make sure I'm doing this right. Boy, he's got a long cable there, don't he? Sure does. Thank you, like Eugene's a, Backyard Repair for the $5 donation. Looks like it's about three foot long and another three foot rolled up with it. Yeah. That's in case you need to get a run and start. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I don't know about this. Woo. That's got about an ounce of gas and about 20 ounces of water. That may not be the right mixture then. Yeah. I don't want it to pump that water up in there. Yeah. So, If the fuel pump works. We ain't going, going far on that tank, huh? <laughs> Trying to think what else. So I'll turn it over and see what it does. Everything out of the way? Uh, as far as I can tell, there's nothing that... Okay. I'm just going to kind of protect that a little bit. There's a trick to this door, something. I guess. Well, we've got a light in here. Ready? Yeah. Bad connection. Probably on the... Uh... Sounds like it's in the... What was that? Oh, a piece of plastic. A piece of plastic. Boy, it I don't just... sound like a lot of compression, does uh -uh. it? You want to check a couple of them real quick while we got it? Might as well, just to see. So we've got this thing turning over and it is turning over with the key inside the car there. Doesn't sound like it's got a whole lot of compression. I haven't even looked on the mileage. We're gonna go ahead and try to check a couple of these cylinders while we got the plugs out. Mileage. Looks like 74,000 miles. Let's see if the radio works. The radio, come on. <laughs> huh. That's cool. Any certain one you want to start with or do? Ah, easiest one, I guess. Well, let, me, let me skip one back then. Make sure our linkage. Yeah. Yeah, there's a little piece of plastic up in there. 
Let me uh, grab a vacuum, I guess. I want to suck it down in there. One good thing about it is it is so brittle that yeah break up pretty easy you know hold that open and i'll yeah. turn her over inside So, just shy of it. Not bad. I think we're okay then, just to go ahead and we can check another one or we can just go for it, whatever you think. Let's try one on your side. Okay. If I we got 120 on one side, 120 on the other, surely we, <laughs> we can crank. Probably we're used just to having 30. Yeah. Yeah, them last ones have not been too, too good for us. Just shy of 150, so. Cool. I knew my side would run better <laughs> than yours. <laughs> no, it should definitely be enough to crank off that. Say we grab a wire brush. I guess that's all that oil we put in there though. Pretty oily. Hopefully that's what it is. Got one. Okay. Just gonna clean up these old spark plugs that were in here because honestly they don't look uh, too terribly bad. A little rust down at the base of them, but uh, one of us ain't doing it right. You're using the brush and I'm using the spark plug. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the way I do it, it'll definitely grab your finger every yeah, once well, in a just, while. I just gouged one of the wires up underneath my fingernails, so Ouch. my way's not right. Not really sure what this can of soap's for there, but. <laughs> <laughs> I was back in the day whenever you, you run out of parts, you just go up to the Campbell soup place and get you a can of tomato juice or something like that. That's when people you really used to travel and stop at a rest area and there's really not even rest areas around here. I'm not sure what Anymore. Nope. Just Tesla charging stations now. There's not many of those around here. No. Oh. A little harder getting them back in there than they were taken out. Yeah, this front one here is gonna be a lot of fun, it looks like. Can't really get my finger where I need it in there. So if you guys were to fix this car up or you know what what would be your your idea plans to tackle on it? Obviously it does have some body damage, but a person could could repair those and do some spot blends and this paint is not going to clean up great, but it would definitely work as an old survivor for sure. Uh, how would you guys try to fix this thing up and get her back on the road. And to be honest with you, we'll probably end up selling this pretty quick. So if anyone is interested, you can email us at cravencustoms at live.com 
and let whatever you say you would do become a reality. <laughs> and you better act fast because if our wives see these here, this car, they're going to go for it. <laughs> we'll be sitting in one of our driveways. I don't know if I've got a vehicle up here that, that my wife would say bring to the house. <laughs> <laughs> We've got some at the house she says to take to the shop. We have a few people saying make it a sleeper, hot rodder, um, leave it as is and, and just drive it. Uh, yeah, a little bit of everything. What would you do, Christian? Um, hmm. That's an interesting question. <laughs> You're just not going to answer, are you? No, I think, so I like going when it's all slammed, too. So I think if it was slammed a little bit, real low to the ground, uh, I don't know, that's probably what I would do. Slam it, uh, clean it up just a little bit. The paint's really not that bad of shape, so it's not like, you know, you need to do a spectacular paint job on it. But yeah, I'd probably just leave it as is, slam it, and put a new uh, muffler I think your dogs that. would love to ride in this. Yeah. <laughs> i put a new muffler or whatever in it to just make it sound like this. <laughs> <laughs> Be careful what you say. I see Mom is in the chat. Oh, is she? <laughs> Hi, Mom. About got mine. Got all mine started anyway. Things are tight on them now. This may be one that don't take a whole lot to get up and going. I did notice it looked like somebody was checking the oil pressure. Oh yeah. Still hooked up in that, but like I said, it's been laying down here, so I don't Let me know. Let see it. Oh. Well, you can keep it. Ooh. Yeah. Got hot at some point, didn't it? Yep. Well, that'll be nice to actually see what the oil pressure's like, though. I didn't keep my plugs in order, did you? Uh, yes, somewhat. Like I said, my, I, I'm pretty sure I remember how they went, but I don't, I, don't, I can't swear It should swear be about one, it. two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. If you know which one one was. This was one right here. That was? Yep. Okay. So one. one that would have been my number two. That one, and then that's my last one. Should be one, three, seven, two, six, five, four, eight. Well, this is one? Yes. Three, seven. So one. we're trying to be sure we get our plug wires back in order here. Otherwise, she ain't gonna run right. Say one three. One three seven two six five. One three. Right, one does it won't matter if I got mine in the right order. Seven six. Wait a second. You said this was one. Yes. One three. Three. Which be here. Seven six. How did that one get over there then? Mexican Spec said, what is the thing on the left side of the grill? On the what? Left side of the grill. Left side of the grill. I think, uh... So that would probably be... That. Yeah, yeah. there. So that's a, I, that's a transmission cooler, I'm assuming, that somebody has rigged up on there with something. Uh, that thing is huge, though. And I did... Well, I guess we got it. I was about to say, there was some more plastic up underneath here, but... So it's one three. One three seven two six five four eight. Seven. And it goes counterclockwise. Seven two or seven six? We're seven two. Okay. Good. So one 
three, seven, two, six. I said hopefully he got that distributor in time. If not, we may have to pull it out. And... Right. No. How are we doing on time, Christian? We are 31 minutes in. So you have five hours left to uh, get this thing cranked. <laughs> so we've done a few of these live Will It Run videos, and I think we've had two or three that we couldn't get running during the live, and we come back with another live video and got them, and got them running. Uh, I don't know, have we ever had one that we just had to walk away from that we never got running on a live? No. I think for the most part that we have got them running, but it took two videos right. on some of them. So we're hoping this one doesn't that way, but some of these things can get kind of lengthy at times. And uh, you never know. You never know until you start messing with them. So that's got us. There's a big piece of plastic right there. I don't know if it's going to be an issue or anything later on, but I just don't want to fly it and suck in there. I don't know if he's got the wired in there or not. There's nothing coming off that, is there? No, it's just... Just the wires going yep. to the inside. Mm -hmm. Huh. So we're going to have to run a wire. I wish I knew which wire ran off the ignition switch. Maybe that one, huh? This one? Maybe. I mean, that's what it would have been. It's positive. You want to check it with the voltage tester? Yep. <laughs> I'd like to be able, if we can crank it to... It's that toolbox over there, Lance. Let's see it right on the edge. So I do see he's got some, some brake cleaner here. Some sea foam, a full can of brake cleaner, empty sea foam. A little bit of everything, other stuff. He was probably using this to try to start it with. Trying to see if this, uh, if we're getting any power that ran to the old cool on there, that old humongous thing. That way we can jump to the uh, the new HEI so I can actually crank and kill it with the it switch. It actually has. It's got power already? Yeah. Not much, huh? No, not much. That's got it. Yep. Yeah. So that should be it. What else is... I wonder if it's got a bad spot that's allowing a little to jump through it there. But that should work. We just need to come from that, though. We need a different end on it. I don't know about that. That kind of scares me. Let me unplug it. What scares you about it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess it'd make good content. So, um... You want to just, uh, I mean, figure just cut, we could cut that and crimp a new one on there. Think? I think so. If, let me make sure we've got one. <laughs> Hey guys, I'm gonna try to find a uh, I'm gonna try to find a wire in we can put on this. So we've come up with a couple cool old ads on these cars. Uh, so we're gonna let you watch one of those real quick, and I'm gonna try to get a new end put on this so we can run it to our distributor. Try to put a little gas down there and see if she tries to at least sputter for us. There have never been so many better ideas available on four wheels as the 1971 Ford Country Squire. The three-way magic door gate. Works even with the window up. The rear window washer.
lockable storage compartment. Dual facing rear seats. Power door locks. Tilt steering wheel. Hidden windshield wipers. In wagons, nobody flips, tilts, pops. Nobody swings like Ford, the wagon master. Nobody. Ford gives you better ideas. So when you're live and on the spot, nothing seems to work right. I've got everything but that. I think I've got an extra wire that we can just uh, twist into that that would already have that end. What if we, as long as that'll plug up on, uh, we can cut this down some. Let's see here. Plug that in on the battery side. Yeah. So however you want to do that. We just want to, yeah, let me go ahead and cut it. There ain't no need to. Hanging on something. We'll make it work. Isn't it funny how that electrical tape around here, this one's the beginning stage, but <laughs> it'll start making itself into a funnel almost. I from the say, heat. Eventually it'll be a funnel. Nice little work table up there. Yeah, big long one. Here's these if you want to cramp that tape. <laughs> I think I saw like a vacuum line over there we may have to try. I see, yeah, in. where did I see it? Uh, he's got it plugged off here. Yeah, right there. There's a, looks like a little hose or something needs to go on it. or. We can come up with something. Right. Let's just try it with a little, uh, you want to try car, a gas or car planer? No matter to me. Uh, it doesn't matter to just me. Just squire a little gas in it, you know. Is that, is that still plastic right there? I can't tell. I can't see. Those needle knives, did you just have them? Uh, no, I had a uh, wire cutters. What did I see? There they are. I think there might still be a piece down in there. Restoration said, got my autographed hat in the mail yesterday. Thanks to each of you. Thank you, Rev, for the support. And I'm sorry that we missed you on that there. And if y'all aren't already, be sure you go check out Revstoration and subscribe to their channel. Uh, they do a whole lot of revival, a whole lot of revival videos uh, on their channel as well. So be sure that you go show them some support as well. Subscribe to their channel, uh, and if you haven't subscribed to our channel, if you're a new watcher here, we would love to have you as a uh, subscriber. And uh, yeah, so we're <laughs> we're going to try to see if this thing tries to pop off now. I've got the last piece of plastic out of there, I think. Let's see what she does. I gotta figure out the combination on that door. Did you ever try that key? No, where's that? It's right up there on top. Well, if it, let me try it in the ignition. Yep. Works ignition. Ready? I think so. Man, this feels weird sitting down in here. The seat's a little wore out on the edge. Here we go. Wow, I was not oh. expecting that quick. No, I wasn't either. What's that? For some reason or another, I'm not squirting. There we go. That thing is loud. Yeah. 
You have plastic flying everywhere <laughs> towards that camera. <laughs> really? We didn't get it all, but I think running it sure will. I'm yeah, curious I think so now. Oh, the pipe's cut off. About back at the right here. A little bit of smoke, huh? Yeah. Hopefully it'll clear out or we'll it'll be hard to see us in a little bit. And try to run it longer with something, or do you want to go ahead and see if the fuel pump's working here? Yeah, it wouldn't hurt to go ahead and this thing here is not working very well. It must be sucking air somewhere. It must have a hole. But that's how my sonic drink does whenever I accidentally <laughs> break the straw. I'm trying to get some down there in the bowl. I just can't hardly. You think we should open the doors on the smoke, or you think it's? If you if you guys get um, have trouble where you're seeing us or whatever, <laughs> we'll open the doors there. Until then, we're just gonna breathe it all in. Yeah, if y'all have trouble, if we start breathing, getting blurry let us and know. stuff. We're probably breathing in too many fumes. There's some carb cleaner over there if you want to just try to. So she sounds pretty good though. A lot louder than what I expected it to be. Well, I guess I expected it to have an old blown out muffler and it just. Well, I expected it to go. Yeah, I didn't, so. I didn't think it'd do it that quick. That's for sure. Let's just see if we can keep it. All okay, right. you, can you run the pedal? Yeah, I got okay, the pedal. Okay. I'll probably spray it a little. I said, let's try to hook the fuel up to okay. the fuel pump. There. Yeah, it's taking everything as hard Take as I can lot, with huh? that. If you that thing mind, is thirsty. Let's run an ad. One of our cameras went out, so let's run an ad while y'all hook that fuel tank up. Okay. Yeah, yeah so we're going to try to figure out this camera real quick and uh, get a fuel tank hooked up here. We'll meet you right back. It's been a good morning's test drive, Mrs. Adams, but um, I have to get back to the Ford showroom. You said Ford's Country Squire is more wagon than anyone else's, with options like the power vent window. I just want to try one more thing. Four by eight building panel flat on the floor. Amazing. And the tailgate opens like a door gate, too. With the window up or down, you say, oh, where's the spare tire? That's easy. New spare tire extractor. Mrs. Adams is after three. Oh, you're right. And school's out. Look, children. Dual facing seats. Plenty of room. Oh, new bumpers. Yes, and they're stronger this year. My showroom will be closing at six. Shouldn't we? Just one more thing. The Country Squire's towing power. My, we are moving right along. When it comes to wagons, nobody swings like Ford. At your Ford dealers now. We lost our uh, camera on the engine there. We still got our GoPro we can use. Um, yeah, y'all can go ahead and I'll hook up your GoPro. So we're going to go ahead. She's going to try to tackle this camera and we're just going to hook up, uh, I guess, that gas tank again. Just kind of yeah. fill it up with some better gas. Figure out a good spot to dump that. I may jump on some comments while he's... <laughs> flushing that gas down the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's real nice. Huh? <laughs> Not really, guys. Um, <laughs> so, let's see here. Headers and side pipes. That'd be pretty cool. That would be pretty sweet. So, on the old Mercury wagon we've got, we bought some really cool uh, some white walls on some 15-inch, uh, uh, kind of an old-school looking rim on it. Uh, but we buffed out that car and the paint ended up oxidizing back on us. So we're just going to kind of put a fresh coat of paint on it and, and call it good on that. So yeah, I don't know how many of y'all thought this thing was going to fire up this quick. I, I, I didn't think it would. I figured we'd have to turn it over a little bit. And honestly, 
I figured we'd have to pull this carburetor off, which we don't know for sure yet on it now. Hopefully that the fuel pump is gonna work. I mean, he had it ran to a can, so somebody was, that's normally what we do anyways, is either gravity feed it or just run us a little uh, fuel tank off to the side sometimes, but we'll see if it starts pumping up here and then it, the goal is to try to get it idling, I guess, and then uh, see if we can put it in gear and maybe it'll go forward, backwards. And see how the brakes ain't locked up, I do know that. We'll see how many gallons to the mile we'll get. Yeah, I'm gonna check the brake fluid. I highly doubt there's any chance that we could get brakes to work. Yeah, that's pretty rough. I might try to put some brake fluid in it just for the fun of it. I have, once again, I've seen a lot worse on that, so. Maybe we'll get this GoPro working for us. <laughs> I bet there's a spider right there. Okay. You'll have to, uh, yeah, so I'll do it like this. Bear with us, guys. The joys of reality. Yep. We'll just edit this part out. Yeah. <laughs> I think that should have her. Yep, we're on. Yep. yep. Cool. Hopefully that don't happen again. I think we know why it did, though. We're not as dumb as we look. Too much, uh, too much horsepower for that camera right there. <laughs> Thank you guys for bearing with us. Uh, I'm going to depress the brake real quick. I just want to see if it tries to take. It's taking it. You, you ain't going to believe it. I feel like I'm starting yeah. to get a pedal. <laughs> Ooh, a water fountain in there, huh? I was going to say, with as much rust and that stirring around in there, something ought to <laughs> get in there and stop something. I don't know, I think we might get that lucky. Is... I don't know why it's doing that. I guess it's just the air coming back out of, out of it there. Just let it sit there and watch it for a little bit. Well, yeah. <laughs> All that plastic. Let me pinch my fingers real quick here. Got those needle nose. Thought I had that. Yeah, yep. So you got gas in here? And gas in there, about half of. Probably half just a take tank. it a little bit of running to pump it up there, maybe. And we'll go again. About out of stuff. I got another plan. There she is. I thought I was. Yep. Yeah. that it's yeah about to say that might the float may be stuck in it wonder if it's partially the choke too Could be. come on Choke seemed like it was just kind of coming out. I don't think we're getting any fuel. 
pumping up anything. You want to pull it loose there at the carburetor, I guess? Yep. I don't think we're getting any fuel pumping up here to it. We're able to run it off the carb cleaner and it's sucking it down <laughs> super quick. The float is possibly stuck in here, which is very common for something that's set for a while. Apparently your blinkers were on. The blinkers working? Uh, yeah, on the one on the, I guess would be your right. Let's see if the headlights are. Yeah. They do? Yeah. Cool. Let's see. Tail lights work. Wow. The I price think, just went up. Even the radio was working. I think what we got is a gas line full of water. Really? Yeah. And I bet we got a bowl full of water now. Probably so. Because it's, it's coming out a little bit, but it's not gas, it's water. So, so there was some... Hmm. If I can get it off. So that's just water there, yeah. huh? Mm -hmm. Didn't even need a hose clamp on that, huh? Uh-uh. I mean, it drips, but it, <laughs> it ain't turning loose. If you need to cut it, it looks like there's enough line there to redo it. There it goes. We should still be able to get it to pump, pump out there. Water. It's, it's right. kind of a mixture. It's, let me get a bottle or something so we can catch it, catch it and pump it right into. So he's going to go grab a bottle we can stick that hose down into and uh, we'll run it again. And we'll be able to see what the, the fuel, if it's pumping and pumping into that jug there, the little bottle. And we may have to pull this carburetor apart because it may be full of water in this uh, bowl here and it's never going to burn that. So we may have to get that out. I'm going to open these doors because it looks a little hazy. I hope that don't mess with the lighting, though. Oh. Shouldn't. Ready? I think I'm ready. <laughs> Definitely pumped up, huh? Yep. Was there that much water in the line? Or is it a little bit, huh? A little sure. bit, yeah, right there. You can hold it in front of the scope and they can probably see it a little bit. So there's some, you can see that water and trash and stuff like that, where the gas and that have separated. So I don't know if we want to try to hook it back up and just see if. I think we can and maybe what's in there will push on out. Worth with... a shot. I mean, we know what we got to do next, if not. We'll play around with these brakes a little bit more. Yeah, I don't know. I think it's gonna be like everything else Man, around he here. around with no brakes whatsoever, worried about brakes. Even the glove box door, I mean, the light in the glove box works. Bunch of receipts. Probably go through some of that stuff and kind of understand the car a little bit better. Oh. Try it again? Try it, yeah. Leaking. Yeah, we got a, it spraying all up over on the thing there where I had to pull it off a while ago. It split the hose. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, that I didn't get that cap back on there right. We'll edit that out too. Got 
going to have enough slack or you need no hose? I think I should have enough. Yeah. Let me check and see what we look like in here. It's got a little bit. I may top it off while you're doing that. Okay. I'll probably find out there's a hole in the radiator up that high and it <laughs> <laughs> squirts out everywhere. That's a different kind of radiator fluid than I use. <laughs> Mine's clear. Cheaper too, ain't it? Yeah. Just run a hose over there and just pump it in. I feel like this would really make someone a great project, though. There's a lot of things that it's not too far gone right. by any means. It's got a lot of things that are still okay on it that most of the time what we're used to messing with are pretty rough. Thanks for everybody that's uh, hanging out tonight. We've got over 2,300 live watchers, so that's oh, wow. awesome. Uh, we appreciate the support. and. Uh, thank y'all for bearing with us on getting content out and stuff like that. So we, uh, we've been extremely busy with all kinds of stuff here lately, but uh, we're doing our best to try to get y'all content at least every other week. So uh, hopefully we'll, one of these days, maybe get ahead of schedule and, and get them out quicker than that. But we thank y'all. I mean, it's, it's y'all that are making us be able to <laughs> do this for a yeah. living. So. That looks good. I mean, you've got a lot of... I got, yeah, i got plenty of gas. You've got a little bit everywhere if, in case it backfires. If it don't bust off now, then I don't think it's going to. <laughs> uh, when did you want Christian to throw that match on it? There we go. What was that? fluid no flame what is that I like that sizzling is it the noise. power steering i don't know why it sounds like it's coming from that Maybe got another gram or something <laughs> your blinker know. is still on let me fix that <laughs> i'm gonna see if the other marks Oh, that's the same one. Oh, yep. Yeah. Yeah. Huh. Crazy. <laughs> It must have some stuff. What is that noise? Bacon. I don't know if you guys can hear that. Oh, yeah. There's a little heat coming down from sound there. It sounds like bacon frying. <laughs> I don't know what that would be. Huh. We have oh, a lot of people saying, uh, is it this? Hook up the yeah, I think it's that can. It's probably got a vacuum coming yeah, off. Yeah, a of vacuum it. advance. They're saying that you need yeah, to hook that up. That. Is this thing? Right above it, that little. Right yeah, there? I bet it is. Huh. Well, I could keep hearing it pretty loud. Uh, let's try it one more time, and then I think we're going to have to pull the top of that off. I promised them a burnout, so. Oh, yeah.
bottle. Block off those vacuum leaks. Yeah, and stuff. we're gonna have to do something because because that's probably why you're having to choke it so much. No, that's something down lower. Uh, let's see what I've got. To I have no clue. Off. Oh wait. <laughs> There's some more plastic down there, but I know nothing that should be getting hot. Yeah, I heard it beep. I'm not so the good news is I don't think we're going to have to pull that carburetor top off to suck out the water. I think we finally revved it enough and pumped enough carb cleaner through it that it finally got that through it but we're gonna try to seal off some of these vacuum uh spots on it that are just uh ain't got no hoses hooked to them so we're not having to choke it down because it's sucking air there and hopefully we can get it to idle and still get need to try it in gear and see what it does i haven't even checked the transmission fluid i may do that real quick while he's looking for some plugs So while Bub gets ready for that, uh, I will talk about the merch once again. <laughs> so we have finally restocked our tie-dye flag original t-shirts. Um, they were just restocked today, so be sure you grab one. I believe we have sizes small to 4X. And we also have a handful of our old Betsy t-shirts. Uh, this comes with a cartoon design of a old station wagon we did a live on not too long ago. I believe the front has a uh, logo on the front of it as well. Um, then we also have our Uncle Frankie t-shirts, which shows our the car that we pulled out of the woods. And of course, it shows our Uncle Frankie on it. And it has our original logos as well. Um, you can get all three of these shirts at www.be-restored.com. I believe there are 25 bucks a piece. We've got a good amount in the uh, tie-dye shirts and a limited amount on the old Betsy and Uncle Frankie shirts, so y'all be sure to check those out. I don't need but two of them. There's at least some showing on the stick. Get it back down in there. Having trouble finding some plugs? Yeah. Uh, I wonder if they might have been left in my truck. There's a whole plastic box full of them somewhere. Yeah. Probably we're going to need some transmission fluid, and it's going to be that funky Ford type that ain't available in Bogota. Unless we have some left over. She may not go in gear. I'm not finding anything. Yeah, I thought they were up over there, but I'm not sure where they would have went. Let's go ahead and see if we can't get it to... Uh, just try to, or I think I can keep it going here. Hmm. Now it's acting like it's flooding.
Uh, I don't trust them brakes enough to see. <laughs> I was going to say I could jack it up and see if it'll move, you Go know, before yeah. we try to. Because it may, we may not have enough fluid in it to even get it to go in gear. Let's try that. Let me jack it up. <clears throat> Did you ever get that other GoPro to work? Yes, I have. Yep. I wonder. We want to try to grab one of those uh, other wheels while we've got it up yeah. and just try to. Yep. Uh, <laughs> that jack may not be big enough because that axle's it, way up here. I may have to jack it up, set it on a block, uh, jack stand. And on each side, on each yeah. Side and, because it's going to be hard to reach it from. Oh man, these tires. Got the back. Kind of rough. Back seat's in a lot better shape than the front. Ugh. I don't know. Surely it'll lift off that right there. That's welded to the frame. If I could get it to idle down, I wouldn't mind just, and we can just roll it outside even to try it, but I don't want to throw it in gear in here and take off through the camera, so. I'm gonna go ahead and get us a tire that'll hold air on here. Bear with us guys here. We are moving forward. It's just gonna take us a little longer. They don't even have a hub on the back. <laughs> oh wow. It's just missing the so the back brakes are definitely not gonna work. Yeah, that would be kind of a I'm gonna say there's gonna be no brakes to her. I mean I, I guess the front brakes could still possibly work. <laughs> you may have to go uh, yeah, up a little bit more. A little bit more. Mm, okay. Get this thing back on here. Hopefully it's the right lug pattern. Yep. The value just keeps going up and up. Yeah. <laughs> All right. 
move along to the other side. Well, we're gonna have to go up higher because. Huh? We're gonna have to go up higher because the tire's still on the ground. Is it? Yep. Jack, ain't you? Just about. You think that'll do it, or? I think so. We were just barely on it, so. Okay. I'm barely touching the ground. Oop. I need to move the jack. It's not wanting to cooperate with us. All right. off the ground. What are we looking at like on time? An hour and 13? We're gonna have to hit the gas pedal on it pretty soon. Come forward just out here. There you go. I say I hope it'll lay smooth because I don't know if we have any of that type F transmission fluid. I know it. It's so hard to find nowadays. It? Well, for the go, then. <laughs> okay. Jack's hard to, hard to control, ain't it? Yeah. That's a junkiest jet. I don't know what that noise is, unless it's a. I wouldn't doubt if it's the same stuff. as the other. No drum. Oh yeah, it ain't got no drums on it either. <laughs> um, let's just see if it'll go in gear. Okay. <laughs> oh, I hope it stays on jack stands. <laughs> If it, not, if it don't, I'm gonna be uh, ready to kill her. <laughs> the, kill somebody. The car, <laughs> yeah. It's <laughs> idle down though. Ready? Yep. Got reverse, I'm gonna try forward once I stop rolling. Yep. I think I'm in neutral now. I'm trying to watch the camera stuff. So. Cool. Well, it actually does move. Actually, Maybe I'm stuff. not in neutral. I'm just gonna kill it. Okay. Oops, put in gear a little bit too soon. I think she'll move. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> kind of got a wall there though. Yeah. <laughs> so it's not the exact idea of what I'd want to try to do on driving it. Especially with no brakes because- Right. We'll have to move the, tr or move the butt end of it that way if I'm going to try. And I might just push it outside and then then go from there. Yeah. I, we I, still I, need to kind of go through here real quick, though. I told them I would go through here and yeah. see exactly what we've got. So we're going to try to drive this thing a little bit too soon, probably. But like we said at the very beginning of this video, it's completely live. It's raw. It's uncut. It's unedited. Uh, have it's we been? Unsafe. <laughs> yeah, it's <laughs> some unsafe uh, times for sure in these lives. But uh, we're just trying to make this happen in a, in a time frame that we're working with. So we're going to try to get the back end of the car over that way, and I might just move it outside and then try to drive it. Still not running the greatest, but it still hasn't warmed up the best. But I'm going to go through here on the inside. We're going to check it out real quick, and then we're going to try to see if we can get her to, to move pretty soon. I may actually pull this out, check out this seat. 
The gas tank doesn't honestly look bad though. I'm sure the inside's a different story. So yeah, here we've got, I see some hubcaps over there. There's one of the pieces of the trim to must be the other side. Those are some compartment covers there on the back. But this back seat is in pretty stinking good shape. So are the door panels. Headliner is in great shape here. Let me get back here. We've got our some tires and stuff. Will that back door open? Can we get this back door to open? Uh, I'm assuming it rolls. I think there's some kind of release to open the. Uh, I don't think door. that works. That feels. <laughs> Let me try to get back in there and see if I can open it up. Maybe. There's a fan shroud and the air breather. I'm just wondering if there's seats underneath here. Yeah, I wonder if it's, let's say, I wonder if it's locked. want to do anything. I don't think the window has to come down on these ones first. Uh, it doesn't look like it does. It might if it lays down like a tailgate, but... Will it open now? No. Hmm. Yeah, I'm Mexican just trying to flip it up said, inside here. Mexican Specs said put the window down and lower the tailgate, so he thinks that maybe it's a tailgate. Good idea. It doesn't have it. I can see through the crack back there. Ooh, it is hot in there. <laughs> I think it's just like a, just like a, just a compartment. Yeah, a compartment for a tire or something like that. All right. Well, we tried. <laughs> But no, I don't think there's a back seat back there or the very back seat on this one. So this one may have been more of the base, baser models. I don't know. I don't know what they come with fancy, but I didn't, I do know it says Galaxy 500 there on the dash. So. Oh yeah. Want to try to get this moved over that way, I guess. Yeah. Once again, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it with this jack. I may have to go grab another one. I don't know if we have any wheel dollies or anything. I wonder if we can just roll it out. Just roll it outside, turning it, you know? Probably so. Let's do that, because okay. there ain't no way we're going to. We'll have to get it up to get them jack stands out there. Right. Good thing the headlights work, so you'll be able to see me outside. This is one of those cars back when you actually needed a bumper jack. See, we still got 2,500 people hanging with us. So. <laughs> Thank y'all for y'all's patience. Everybody's waiting around to see, 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 somebody, see somebody get hurt. Yeah, see something stupid happen. Yeah. You want me to take this camera out of the... Yeah. So we're going to have to... Uh, we're going to have to pull our camera gear real quick because we're about to try to wheel this outside. We'll leave a couple cameras going so that we can film that. Uh, but we'll go ahead and throw an ad up real quick, or maybe a couple, shouldn't take us long, and we'll be right back with you and hopefully I'll be able to drive this thing. 
There have never been so many better ideas available on four wheels as the 1971 Ford Country Squire. The three-way magic door gate. Works even with the window up. The rear window washer. Lockable storage compartment. Dual facing rear seats. Power door locks. Tilt steering wheel. Hidden windshield wipers. In wagons, nobody flips, tilts, pops. Nobody swings like Ford. The Wagon Master. Nobody. Ford gives you better ideas. I guess they need one. They're right there. Gotcha. Hang on just a second. Okay. Trying to get her outside. Still hung on something under Still got a cord. Oh, yeah. We're going to have to go forward and then. I don't know what we're hung on, but. It's probably what was sizzling up underneath <laughs> there. I think we're going to have to go come forward. forward. Yeah. I tell you. You have to explain that to me. I keep pushing backwards. So. Having trouble with it. Yeah, a little bit of trouble. You can film with this if you need to. All right. Uh, we were trying to get another camera to work, but uh, I don't think she ever got it, did you? No, I never could get it. Okay. All right, <laughs> let's see what we do. I'm going to push it out. I don't know how far. I guess I'll push it out and then try to drive back in here and then until I get comfortable with it enough to decide. Watch your door. It's big enough. If it takes off, I'm letting it go because there ain't no stopping it. No. All right, if it will stop. Ugh. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Whew. All right, I'm gonna try it. Hopefully, it'll out it down enough. <laughs> try them brakes. She moved a little bit. <laughs> ah. Got bright spots. Hey, I got it. <laughs> no brakes, I can tell you that right now. Come on, they're expected to burn out. I know, but I was going to try to do it inside, but there's no brakes at all. <laughs> so I have to see if I can reach the highway or the road. Ah.
The hose? Yeah. It's fine. Okay. Watch out. Ah. Come on. It won't crank? Yeah, it will. Bit fire, that's for sure. Yeah. He's probably a little and he wanted to do that burnout real bad. Yeah. It'll break, so it's going to make it really hard. Cause the highway ain't but a hundred foot up the road there, so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody can yeah. hear me. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. I don't know if I should try to get it back up inside, but y'all see the fire shoot yeah. out of it? I'm going to try to get back up inside where we can close this out. I guess that was a real burnout with fire. <laughs> no burnout. Y'all stay clear, okay? Okay. Watch out. Okay. Yeah, the problem is... That carburetor's not gonna let you. Yeah. We'll come back in here. <laughs> I'm a little bit too close to, for comfort. I'm gonna shut the headlights out. I don't know which camera to look at. All right, guys, well, we made it outside. <laughs> I made it kind of around the block. I didn't get a burnout. I hope she caught the backfire where it actually shot fire out of the carburetor. I made it around a little bit, but there are no brakes at all, and it's idled up so much to keep it running. Uh, I'm a little scared to even pull it in here, so I'll probably just push it back up in here with the forklift like we d got it in here earlier uh, yesterday. So uh, thanks for everybody for hanging out. Uh, this has been a fun one. It's been, like I said, it's been a long time since we've done uh, one of these live Will It Run videos. Uh, kind of a love-hate deal for us <laughs> on those. Uh, they're fun to do, but you just never really know what's going to happen on them. So Christian, if you want to get over here and you're not mic'd up, but you can stand close enough to us. So. Uh, thank all of y'all for watching this, uh, 2,500 viewers here, so um, we, we appreciate all the support that y'all have given us, and be, be sure that you check out our next video on that Ford. A lot of people have been asking about builds and stuff like that. Uh, we're going to just do kind of a mild build on that truck, uh, but I think you guys will really like it. So, uh, y'all got anything to say? or uh, Just be safe. Yeah, be safe. Be safer than us, and uh, <laughs> God bless y'all, and we'll see you on the next one. Bye, guys. Bye. Yeah, I was a little, <laughs> you were probably worried when I hit the highway. Or yeah, I, well, that's what I was saying whenever you were going around.